This region may hold the key to the future of our climate as global warming takes hold. It's one of the remotest and coldest places on the planet. For much of the year, temperatures fall to minus 40 degrees Celsius, freezing everything solid, including the ground. But hidden in this frozen ground, known as permafrost, is a potential climate disaster. It's called methane, and it's a far more powerful greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide. The danger is, if the permafrost was to melt as a result of global warming, it could release methane on a massive scale. Ecologist Katie Walter believes that it's already beginning to happen. She's studying the lakes that cover the region. The permafrost contains a very large pool of organic carbon. It's dead plant matter. And that dead plant matter, when it is thawed out in the bottoms of the lakes, it's a food source for organisms that produce methane. They eat the dead plant matter and they burp out methane. Methane is the byproduct of their digestion. And it bubbles up from the lake sediments and gets trapped in the ice. If Katie's right, then the ice should be full of bubbles of methane. To find out the extent of the problem, Katie and an assistant head out onto the middle of the frozen lake. First, they remove the snow covering the ice. Before using tea from their flask to clear the surface. You can actually see the bubbles trapped in the ice. They're beautiful. The ice can be crystal clear with little bubbles, almost like coins stacked on top of one another. And what's happening is that as the bubbles are released from the sediments beneath, they wobble up through the water column and they hit the ice that's forming and thickening overhead. And so the bubbles actually freeze in place. The trouble is, if these are bubbles of methane, it won't stay trapped in the ice for long. When the ice thaws in spring, the gas will escape. There's one sure way to check just how much methane is in these bubbles, because it's highly flammable. When you poke a hole into those uh, pillows of methane, you get this stream of gas that comes out, and depending on the size of your hole, you can get a very large stream of gas. So when you light that, you get a very large flame. And you have to be careful, because sometimes you can singe your eyebrows. <laughs> These bubbles can be found all over the place. There must be enormous amounts of methane being released here. And that has serious implications. The methane then heats the atmosphere, contributing to global warming, which then causes more permafrost to melt and more methane to be produced, and it's sort of this vicious feedback cycle. We think of this permafrost here like as a time bomb waiting to go off. <laughs> 